Hi there, it's Nick again from Green Fingers. Hope you're all doing well and I'm back again, this time with a wildlife craft project. Today's project is all about the white-tailed eagle and we are going to make a model of the white-tailed eagle using craft sticks. So ideally, you will have a range of different sizes of craft stick, including matchstick size. But if not, you can always improvise and use cardboard from a cereal packet or similar. Bird of prey, like the white-tailed eagle, has really long flight feathers that look like human fingers at the end of the wing. And to create these, we are going to take 10 of our smallest craft sticks and cut those in half. Taking the largest stick as your body of the bird, begin to attach the wings as shown in the video. So you start about a third of the way down the stick, gradually getting the wing feathers smaller and smaller until you finish putting the wing feathers on at about halfway down the main stick. Next, we're going to place our uh, flight feathers at the end of the wings. So this is beginning to use the sticks that we have just cut in half. Again, follow the video. If you've got a couple of matchsticks for the bottom two wing feathers, then you can use those as the sticks are getting smaller. When the eagles are soaring high in the sky, they really spread out all those flight feathers. And we're going to use the rest of the half length craft sticks to create that effect along the base of the wing. Watch carefully about how you place those feathers.
Okay, so we can put aside uh, our bird to dry and we're going to create the beak. Have a really good look at the beak because we're going to draw this onto cardboard. So now we can start to bring our bird to life and we're going to start off by painting the beak yellow and then we're going to mark off the top third and the bottom third of the body of the bird and paint that white. <coughs> Don't forget to turn your model over so that everything that you've glued is now at the back. Now we get to use the matchsticks to create the white tail of our white tailed eagle. I would stick the matchsticks on the tail first and paint them later because otherwise you'll get all sticky, but it's up to you which way you prefer to do it. Now we can paint the remainder of the bird brown.
say, just the finishing touches now. Beak on, eyes marked just above the beak, talons, that's the feet and claws, placed on the body of the bird, also in yellow, and you have finished your white-tailed eagle. Great job. Nose. It's breathing. I really hope you've enjoyed making your white-tailed eagle and don't just stop there. Have a look at what else you might want to make, maybe a bald eagle or a peacock. There are all sorts of possibilities and birds are great ones to start out with with your wildlife craft. See you next time. Bye.